today we will be discussing the ultimate path to become a self-taught developer. My name is Giovanna Proença and I'm a software developer and instructor at Doors Coding School. By the end of this seminar, you're going to have a very clear picture of what you need to do to become a successful self-taught developer and have the tools to decide whether the current path you're taking will lead you to your success. One of the main issues we observe our students face is not having a clear path from zero to being ready to apply for jobs. So we're going to assess the most common resources available on the internet today and rank them on a tier list. The resources will be Just Build Something, Free Code Camp, Oding Project, CS50, Udemy Books and YouTube, Boot Camps, Open Source Society, Private Tutoring and Online Community Groups. In order to decide on what is the best path for you to become a developer, we will evaluate each one of them by the following criteria. One, are you held accountable for your learning? Most people don't become developers for the same reason most people are not in shape. It is very easy to study for a week, but give up when things get hard or boring and do not push it to the end. You can have the best online course available, but if you're not able to complete, it has no value. Two, does it work on the foundations? Learning how to code is hard and takes repeating foundational concepts hundreds of time, just like learning a martial art or playing an instrument. We will assess each course by how much they work on basic skills. 3. Does it provide projects you can put on your portfolio? You can have great skills in programming, but if you can't build anything, it will be very hard to convince a client or a company to hire it. Great courses have you build multiple projects so you can have a portfolio by the end of it. Four, does it give you a feedback from a mentor? In our experience, learning by yourself without having support from someone is close to zero. A recent 2019 study by the MIT revealed that over the past five years, online courses recorded an astronomical average dropout rate of about 96%. Does your learning plan include someone more experienced that you can reach out to get help? 5. How fast does it take to complete it? Time is money. The the faster you are able to complete a course, the more you will get your money and time's worth. Six, what is the cost? And seven, is it flexible? Now, let's start talking about the resources. Just build something. This is a very common yet terrible advice on how to learn how to code. You see many influencers online saying that the best way to learn how to code is to take something you are passionate about and just start building something by googling it. However, it is extremely hard to get started if you don't have any basic programming skills. What are you going to do if you get stuck? How are you going to get yourself unblocked? Building something that you enjoy is a great way to build your portfolio once you become good at basic programming. Moreover, it is very hard to progress this way as you have no accountability or mentor that can help you to move forward. So this approach gets accountability zero, foundation zero, projects three, mentor zero, speed zero, cost five, flexibility five, and average of one. 1.8 E tier. Free Code Camp is a completely free resource created by developers around the world in a collaboration to spread tech education. You can do it at your own time, so it gets a 5 for cost and flexibility. It does have some foundational exercises, but we believe it is not enough to get really good at the basics. So we will give it a 2.5 for foundational exercises. A great feature of Free Code Camp are the projects. One of the issues, though, is that it's very confusing to know exactly what you should do, as they have multiple courses, and it's hard knowing what sequence you should take the course on and when you are ready to apply for jobs. A great aspect of Free Code Camp is that they have very good projects, so by the end of it, you will have a good portfolio when you start applying for jobs. The disadvantages is the same as most online courses. You will lack accountability, although they have an active forum community community and you will have no mentor to support you and it will be very easy to give up. 
Moreover, due to the lack of clarity, it will take you a long time to complete the curriculum. We believe if you put in five hours a week, it will take you anywhere from one to one and a half years to complete. So in general, we have Accountability 2, Foundations 2.5, Projects 5, Mentor 1, Speed 4, Cost 5, Flexibility 5, and an average of 3.5 in our B tier. The Odin Project. Very similar to Free Code Camp, however, with a path from beginner to job ready that is much clearer. It requires you to work on projects from the beginning so you have an amazing portfolio by the end of it. However, although the curriculum tries to help you get started with the basics, we believe it does a very bad job on working on the foundational skills. This is a great resource if you already have taken a programming course somewhere else, like college, but do not have yet a portfolio. It also suffers from the same issues as Free Code Camp, lack of accountability and someone to help you get unblocked. So in the end we have Accountability 2, Foundations 2.5, Projects 5, Mentor 1, Speed 4, Cost and Flexibility 5, and Average 3.5, B tier. CS50 is a free introduction to computer science course that is exactly the same as those attending Harvard take. There are multiple CS50 courses available online. Here, we refer to the sequence of courses we like using with our students, which is CS50 Python, CS50X, and CS50 Web. We believe that this is the best free online resources available online today because it focuses on strong fundamentals as well as giving you a portfolio by the end of the course. One of the issues we face with students is that there is a big jump from what is given on lectures to what is asked on the project, but still, if you finish CS50, there is no doubt you know how to code. It does suffer from the same issues as Free Code Camp and the Odin Project, lack of accountability and mentorship. Another issue we see from many students that come to us is copying and pasting without having a full understanding of what was done. So in general, we have Accountability 2, Foundations 4, Projects 5, Mentor 1, Speed 3, Cost 5, and Flexibility 5. So we have an average of 3.57 B tier. We believe that Udemy books and YouTube are a great resource once you know how to code. Learning how to code from these resources is extremely hard as they often don't give you a clear path from zero to being a developer like CS50, Free Code Camp, and the Odin Project offer. On the top of being extremely easy to get away with not learning the fundamentals. Once our students are at the end of CS50, we often recommend them to take a course on React or React Native on Udemy, by which point they are already proficient in foundational coding skills. So in general we have Accountability and Foundations 1, Projects 4, Mentor 1, Speed 3, Cost 4, Flexibility 5. So in average we have 2.8 C tier. Not necessarily self-taught, but most people who attend boot camps still have to do a lot of work on their own. In a boot camp, you will have instructors and teaching assistants apart from a cohort to make you accountable. The curriculum is usually pragmatic and it's in their interest to make you get a job as fast as possible. If you can take three months off from your responsibilities and can pay the price tag that usually ranges from 15 to 25k, it is a great way to become a developer. One of the problems of most boot camps though is that because they focus on so much teaching you practical skills, they often lack the time to give you hundreds of problems that build your foundational skills like a CS50 would do. So in general we have Accountability 5, Foundations 3.5, Projects Mentor and Speed 5, Cost 3, Flexibility 3, and an average of 4.31 S tier. This open source society is a computer science version of the Odin project. This resource aggregates the best free online university courses and simulates what would you get from an undergraduate program. This is a great resource once you have a job, but going through the entire curriculum would take you years to finish apart from having the same issues as an undergraduate program, lack of projects. So in general you have Accountability 2, Foundations 4, Project and Mentor 
center 1, speed 0, cost 5, flexibility 5, and average of 2.25 D tier. What all the great courses such as CS50, FreeCodeCamp and the Odin project lack is accountability and someone to help you when you get stuck. That's why the way to get the best result is to pair one of these resources with a tutor. Unlike a bootcamp, you have the full attention of someone that you can ask questions and that can go at your own pace. Moreover, you can have classes at your own schedule so you don't have to dedicate months of your life in order to do the same way you would do with a bootcamp. At Doris Coding School, we offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring using CS50 over Zoom. You can check it out here. Even if you decide not to follow through with us, having someone to tutor you is by far the best way to learn how to code. Check what our student says about the importance of having a tutor. Hello, uh, I am Alex, and uh, I just wanted to give a testimonial to the Doors coding community. Uh, they helped me really get into coding, and it was something that I was interested in. However, I had no idea how to get into, so I contacted them, and I have to say that they were really nice. Uh, Giovanna was my teacher. She helped me every week through lessons, and that really helped me get through the technical side of coding. Also. I got good email support. Uh, every week, if I had any troubles, I would just send a screenshot or possibly uh, share my code with them, and then they would get right back to me, helping me through projects, such as uh, projects for courses like Harvard CS50. And so that would really help me out. Not just technical, I guess I could say I also got a lot of emotional support. Uh, coding can be a little bit frustrating. So they really made sure that the lessons we went through were tailored to the needs I had at the time. Uh, they would go at a pace to make sure that I could keep up. And so I just wanted to say not just the technical side, but the emotional side, they really did an outstanding job. So I just wanted to uh, recommend them, especially if you are interested in getting into the world of coding. The disadvantage in relation to a bootcamp is that, since it is not full-time, it will take longer. But that is probably the best option for those either working or studying full-time. So in general, we have Accountability Foundations Projects and Mentor 5, Speed 3.5, Cost 3.5, and Flexibility 5. So in average, we have 4.45 S tier. Sometimes you're not ready to commit to having a tutor, and that's okay. We still advise you to find a way to get some sort of accountability and an expert helping you along the way. Like we said previously, the number one reason people don't become colder is not the lack of good resources, but not having someone to be accountable and someone to ask questions. At Doris Coding School, we have a Telegram group where you can ask questions 24-7 and network with students from around the world. It is a more affordable option than tutoring, but you can still get a lot of help. Moreover, once a month you get to ask questions on our monthly lives as if you were once one of our tutoring students. An online paid community gets uh, Accountability 3, Foundations 5, Projects 5, Mentor and Speed 3, Cost 4.5 and Flexibility 5. You can check out our community here. So this is our final list. We have clarified the multiple paths you can take and how to better approach your learning journey. I hope you have enjoyed the webinar. If you decided to join our Telegram community or become one of our private students, we have a special offer for you in the next 24 hours. Check out the links in the chat. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.